Hey guys, welcome back to Royce and Mac Club. Today's topic is comparing decimals. So today I'm going to be talking about how to compare two decimals. So well, let's for example, let's say we have the two numbers. 5.59, okay, and 6.46. And we have to compare these. So now let's put them in comparison form. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be writing a word. So 5.59, okay, and uh, this is where our symbol will go, and 6.46. And to compare uh, two decimal numbers, we have to first find out the different forms of comparison. Okay, so I think the first comparison form that comes in everybody's mind is, are these two numbers equal to? Okay, and yes, equal to is a comparison symbol. And what that allows us to say is that two values are exactly the same. Okay, so nothing is different, they're exactly the same. But we all know that 5 is less than 6, so they're not same. Okay, so you can uh, see from the first number that these two numbers are not the same. Okay, so if they're not equal to, what are they? Okay, so there's two other possibilities. Either one number is less than the other number, or the other number, or the one number is greater than the other number, okay? So, um, the one way to, um, uh, remember this is that, um, you see over here, wherever the arrowhead points towards is the smallest number, okay? So, if the arrowhead is pointing towards this side, then the smallest number will be over here, and the larger number will be over here. And if the arrowhead is pointing towards this side, then the smaller number will be over here, and the larger number will be over here. Okay. So, to compare two, dec uh, two, two decimal numbers, we have to start by looking at the numbers before decimal point, which are the whole numbers, okay? So, the, the, so over here we have the, uh, the two decimal points, okay? And numbers before decimal point are 5 and 6, okay? So we have the numbers 5 and we have the number 6. Now, since we have only uh, uh, two numbers, and we know that these two numbers are, are different, okay? And we know that they're not equal to, so... 5 is less than 6, okay, so the beak is pointing towards the 5, okay, since 5 is a small number and 6 is the larger number, that's why uh, um, there's an opening over here. So, um, since 6 is larger, it doesn't matter, okay, so now, since we know that the whole number, the one whole number is larger than the other, or the well, one whole number is less than the other, it doesn't matter of the uh, decimal part, okay, because it doesn't matter at all, because you already know the value, okay. So, number 5.59 is less than 6.46, okay. So, we can also uh, rename this by saying 6.46 is greater than 5.59, okay? So, it doesn't really matter. You can either say um, 5.59 is less than 6.46 or 6.46 is greater than 5.59. But you have to go with the order, okay? So, if 5.59 is first and 6.46 is second, then you will have to say that 5.59 is less than 6.46. Okay, and the same thing when it's opposite. Okay, so this is how you compare two decimal numbers. Let's look at more examples. So let's say we have the two decimal numbers, 0 0.991, okay, okay, so 0 0.991, and we have, okay, so you have to compare this with 0 0.99. Okay, so we know that the comparison possibilities are either the numbers are equal to, or they're not equal to. Okay, and they're, if there's not if they're not equal to, then either one number is less than the other, or the other number is greater than the uh, the one. Okay, so we know we've, uh, to find that we'll have to look at the first numbers. So the first numbers are zero and zero, and we know that zero and zero is equal to each. So we move on to the next thing, which is decimal point, and both of them include decimal point as the next thing. And we know that the second numbers are 9 and 9, okay, 9 and 9 are equal to. But then we move on to the next number, which is 9 and 9 as well. So we have 9 and 9 again, so they are equal to as well. But then we move on to the next number, and now we get number 1. 
okay? And we don't have another number here, so we can go ahead and put a zero. But we all know that the number one is greater than the number zero, so one is um, greater than the number zero, so the number 0 0.991 is actually greater than the number 0 0.991. 99 okay so this is how you compare two decimal numbers okay um e even if you don't have a whole number in them so this is how you compare two decimal numbers i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got um everything you needed to know and we will see you guys next time bye